understanding status epilepticus. You are on your ED shift when a 62-year-old man arrives for reported sudden onset unresponsiveness. You are unable to obtain any medical history, and upon further physical exam, you notice that his eyes are open and deviated to the right, and there is subtle twitching of the right side of his face and right arm. The patient has reportedly been like this for 10 minutes, and he is showing no signs of improvement. Could this be status epilepticus? Status epilepticus is a neurological emergency defined as a seizure with five minutes or more of continuous clinical and or electrographic seizure activity or recurrent seizure activity without recovery between seizures. Status epilepticus requires immediate evaluation and management to prevent significant morbidity or mortality. There are multiple types of status epilepticus, including convulsive, non-convulsive, focal motor, and myoclonic. Any type of status epilepticus has the potential to become refractory. Let's recall that a seizure is a transient change in the normal electrical activity of the brain. In the brain, excessive excitation and or inadequate inhibition may result in status epilepticus. Etiologies may be divided into acute processes, including non-adherence with anti-epileptic medications, CNS infections, stroke, metabolic abnormalities, head trauma, hypoxia, drug toxicity, and withdrawal, as well as chronic processes such as a CNS tumor or cortical dysplasia, among others. Status epilepticus has a bimodal age distribution with peaks in infancy and in the elderly. Incidence rates range between 7 to 40 cases per 100,000 persons per year. A significant proportion of both children and adults with status epilepticus have a history of epilepsy. Let's get back to our patient in the ED. If status epilepticus is not terminated, it can lead to cerebral edema, hyperthermia, rhabdomyolysis, and cardiovascular failure. Management should be initiated immediately. Management involves a three-step process. Initial stabilization steps for acute seizures. Identify and treat rapidly reversible causes of seizures. Implement phase-based acute seizure management. Initial stabilization will include checking patient vitals and a glucose level, an assessment of airway, breathing, and circulation, establishing multiple IV lines for access, rapid initiation of anti-epileptic medications, resuscitation if required, patient positioning at the lateral decubitus position, and obtaining a STAT non-contrast CT scan of the head to rule out intracranial hemorrhage or gross structural abnormalities. Phase-based acute seizure management includes three stages. The first phase of management occurs between zero and five minutes. First-line agents, including benzodiazepines such as lorazepam, are commonly used. The second phase occurs from five to 20 minutes, and anti-epileptic medication, such as levetiracetam, valproate, or phenytoin is administered. Begin monitoring with continuous EEG as soon as possible. The third phase occurs between 20 and 60 minutes, and additional anti-epileptic medications such as phenobarbital or propofol are administered if necessary. To learn more about refractory and superrefractory status epilepticus, watch the Neurobytes video entitled Management of Superrefractory Status Epilepticus. In review, the successful management of status epilepticus includes both early termination of seizure activity as well as identification of a causative etiology. Before discharge from the hospital, patient education is crucial. Remind patients to adhere to the correct schedule and dosage of prescribed anti-epileptic medication. Patients as well as their families or friends should be educated on factors that may trigger seizures, including non-adherence with anti-seizure regimen, sleep deprivation, medications that may lower seizure threshold, illness, including infections and metabolic abnormalities, and alcohol withdrawal. Recommendations for seizure precautions and restrictions should also be provided. After discharge, it is essential that patients follow up with a neurologist for long-term management. For more information on this and other neurologic condition, please visit aan.com forward slash neurobytes.